Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, people? I'm fine. Let's nice. Excuse me? Waiting the Friday. <laughs> oh, waiting for Friday. <laughs> yeah, almost. It's tomorrow. <laughs> Just hold on a little bit more. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for connecting to the class on time. Yes. <clears throat> well, guys, today we are going to continue learning about count and non count nouns and expressions, some and any. In a moment, you are going to see in the screen the class presentation. I was having problems with the PowerPoint, but it's here now. Today is Thursday, June 8th, 2023, and this is our class number 10. So guys, by the end of the class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are, and you will learn how to use expressions some and any. Also, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. So those are the objectives for this class. Okay, and we have the following activities, recalling previous, previous class, conversation practice, what do you need, and activity three, different breakfasts around the world, and wrap up. Okay, to start with, the, before we start, well, I'm gonna share this screen, yeah. Think about which food is count noun and which is non-count noun. And while you think about it, I'm going to take the attendance. So let's see, we have the first person in the list is Alba Jocelyn Romero. Present teacher. Okay, she's present, great. <laughs> A moment, I'm looking for something here. Good evening. Alba. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. That's great. Okay, Amalia Tobar. Present. Ana Julia Flores. Present. Hey, Ana Julia, it's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Anderson Emanuel Paloma Arely Janel Cornejo Present teacher Arely Brenda Elizabeth Dima Present Briseida Janet Garcia Briseida Janet She sent me a text Mm -hmm. But I don't see her. Okay. Briseida Yarisa Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Briseida. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present, teacher. Great. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Carolina Elizabeth Garcia. She's up. Selina Yasmin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Selena. Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique Ayala. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel Quijano Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Great, right, Daniel. Da Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present teacher. Very nice. Ed Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Es Elsa Noelia Portillo. I'm here. Great. Erika Noemí Hueso. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Adai García. Ángel. Present. Okay. 
Uh, what about Evelyn Janet Rivera? Present. Evelyn. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo de Rodas. Good. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Gabriela Alexandra López. Gabriela Alexandra. Present. Ok, Gabriela. Good. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Thanks. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Ginny Lizard Escobar Lucero. Present. Good. Jose Heriberto Durán. Present, teacher. Excellent. Thank you, people, for connecting on time. Remember that every second, every minute is counted. So it's important to connect from since the beginning of the class, right? Good. So as I was telling you, you have to tell me if the food here is can or non can now. Bread. Non-count. Non non for non-count. Burgers. Count. Meat. Non-count. Right. Non-count. Apple. Non-count. Cereal. Non-count. Juice. Non count. Non count. Non count. Jam. 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 Non count. Non count. Non count. Salad. Non count. Non count. Non count. Count or non count? Non count. Non count. Salad and salad. It counts. It's count. Milk. Cookie. Can count. And soup. Non count. Non count. Very good people. Excellent. Okay. Oh, we have more in the next slide. Butter. Don't count. Don't count. count. Don't count. Fish. Count. 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 Well, it depends. Don't count. It's, it's as food. It's food. As food. Don't count. As an animal. Don't count. Okay, the same with the chicken. Orange? I count. 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 Cheese? Count. No, no. Count. No, count. 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 Carrot? No, count. 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 Coffee? No, no. Count. no, no count. count. Sugar? No, no count. No, count. No, count. Popcorn? No, count. No, count. Then because... Corn. The popcorn in the bags. Popcorn. I want 10 popcorns. <laughs> Only one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, very nice. Very good. Excellent for your participation and answers. Now, guys, in the next slide, we have a conversation between Kate and Jen. They want to make some sandwiches, but what do they need? Well, the conversation's topic is, let's get some lettuce and some tomatoes. I need two volunteers, I need a Kate and a Jane to read. We have Carlos Garcia as Kate. And Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlos. You will be the first, and Edith Carolina, okay? Carlos and Edith will be Jane. So you can start at the count of three. One, two, three, action. 
Do we need any lettuce for the sandwich? Lettuce. Letter. Letter. Good, good, good idea. idea. Let's get some lettuce and some tomatoes. 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 Do we have any bread? No, we need some. And we don't have any cheese. Let's get some cheese then. And some chicken too. We have some chicken at home. Oh, all right. Have, how about some potato salad? Some potato salad. Sure. sure. I love potato salad. Great. Let's buy some. Thank yeah. you, Carla. Good job. Good job. Okay. So they are want they want to make some some sandwiches, but what ingredients do they need? What ingredients do they need? You can see the picture. What is this? Lettuce. 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 Some tomatoes. 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 Exactly. Also, they need bread. Any bread? Bread, bread. And, and, and bread and cheese. And cheese. And, and cheese. And cheese. Chicken. Ah, some, but they have some, some chicken. chicken. Oh, no, not chicken, no. Chicken, they are going potato. to buy potato, potato. 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 Salad. 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 Yes. Okay. Some so potato. as you notice, they are using the expressions. They are using the expressions um, some and any. For example, we have any. Any again, any here again. Um, okay, so we have any three times. Um, if you notice, any is used in a question, in question, question. and also in a uh, negative. 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 Negative sentence. Exactly. So remember, we use any in questions and negative. 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 And we <clears throat> can see some. For example, here we have, let's get some lettuce and some tomatoes. We need some, let's get some cheese and some chicken. Some chicken, some potato salad. Let's buy some. Okay, when do we use some? Affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences. And we do I use some only for count nouns? Or can I use some for non-count nouns too? Non-count nouns. Both? We can use for both, exactly. If you notice, lettuce, we have lettuce here. We have tomatoes, it's count noun. And then cheese, but cheese and chicken is non-count. And potato salad is also non-count. So we can use some in affirmative statements. Also, we can use it in a question, like in this case, how about some potato salad? But especially in affirmative statements with count and non-count nouns. Any is also used for count and non-count nouns, but only in questions and negative statements. Okay? Very good. Now, uh, that is uh, summarized in the next slide. As you can see here, Remember, we count nouns, we can use an or a, which means only one. An egg, a potato, a tomato, a cookie, right? So in questions, do we need any potatoes? Yes, let's get, let's get some. No, we don't need any. 
con tomatoes as you notice, affirmative, negative. Mm -hmm. And non count nouns, we can also use any and some. For example, bread and lettuce. But we cannot say a bread, we cannot say a lettuce, we cannot say a milk, we cannot say a coffee. No, because those are non count nouns. So we just say, I need coffee. I need bread. Uh, we have uh, rice. We have sugar. Uh, we have beer. I need uh, salt. But I don't say, I need a salt. Right? <laughs> That's incorrect. Or I need a use. No, I need juice. Okay? And as, as you notice, we can use any and some also. For non-count nouns in questions and affirmative. I have summarized it here. Some affirmative, any negative questions. Do you have any question about the use of any? Any question? No, teacher. Everything I, is clear as your chara. <laughs> I, I, yes. have, uh, I have one question. Uh, the sum uh, I don't uh, we don't use in in questions you can use it in questions but not in negative yeah it's possible to use it in questions uh, but you don't use it in negative in negative you use any okay okay mm -hmm. and in non count and count Yes, for both, count or non-count. Okay, thank you. Well, yeah, with count and non-counts, you use both, right? Some and any, but the difference is that some is only for the affirmative and some questions, and any is negative. And question. And here, let's practice. You are going to help me to complete the conversation with some or any. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Oh, they don't have any potato salad. But we have lots of potatoes at home. Let's make some. Some. some, exactly, some potato salad. Great, do we have any? Any. any. Exactly, any mayonnaise? Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy, need to buy some. 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 We need some. to buy some. some. And we need any. Some oh, onions. We need some, some onions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't want any. 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 I don't want any onions in the salad. I don't like it. <laughs> any. Okay, any. don't worry. Let's get some. 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 Some salad then. No, I don't want any. 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 Any celery? I have an idea. Let's put some, 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 some apples in it. it. Are you serious? Apples in potato salad? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, this person doesn't like onions and celery and apples either. <laughs> Do you like onions in the salad? I no. like a little. <laughs> you like a little. I love I love onions. I love onions. So I like it. I like onions in the salad, in the food, especially in the beans. Right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. I can see that you understand. And you can use this topic very well. Now, let's continue with the next activity. 
uh, again, we have more examples. I'm not sure. Uh, can we have one person? Heriberto, can you please read the first example with A and an? Okay, use with countable is singular. Example, uh, there is a, there is a no. plume. Uh, no. There is an apple. Very good. And, Thank you okay. for that. So now okay. uh, let's see Brenda Dima, the next, please, with some. Uh, excuse me, is leerlo or dar un ejemplo? Read. Use with contempt and uh, on contact in affirmative sentence. Example, there is some sugar, there is some apples. Very good. Thank you, Brenda. And the last, Amy. Sugar. Selena, yes. So, apples. Okay. Use with countals and uncountals in negative and interrogative sentence. Example, there isn't any sugar. There aren't any apples. Is there any sugar? Is there any sugar? Are there any apples? Very nice, thank you. So you can see here more examples, right? Using the is and there are. Now guys, this is going to be a homework. Okay, in a moment, I will send you two breakup rooms. With your partner, you are going to uh, create a conversation. The conversation's topic is, what do we need to buy? You are going to prepare some food with your classmates. The food can be ideas, tacos, pupusas, chicken soup, tamales, eh, potato salad, eh, I don't know anything that you want to make, anything that you want to prepare with your classmate, an omelette, eh, some roasted chicken, etc. You are going to barbecue, you are going to prepare some food. And as in the con previous conversation, you are going to ask, what do we need to buy? And you will say, well, I have or we have these ingredients, but we don't have any of these ingredients. We need, we need some of these, we need some of that. So you will use some and any in this conversation, okay? So I'm gonna send you in the room and you, you will have 10 minutes to work with your partner. If you don't finish, well, interchange the telephone numbers with your classmate. You can finish, uh, out, I mean, uh, during the day, tomorrow. And tomorrow in the class, you are going to present the conversation, okay? So you are going to present the conversation tomorrow. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Gabriel, can you tell me what you are going to do? Sorry, I don't, I don't listen. Uh, can you tell us, can you explain, can you tell me what you are going to do in this activity? Uh, uh, we, with the partner and... To, to do the list of of materials or 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 products that we need to to make the 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 food the food huh? this the the food that that i i like okay very good gabriel thank you so i'm gonna share with you the the slides with information so you can have an idea but right now I'm going to create a breakout room. Remember, you will have 10 minutes to create a conversation. 
I will send you the slide. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, pizza, we have a pizza. Do we need any um, salsa? The pizza, and you say, I have do, do we need? Any data Armando Yell. Okay. Armando. Okay. Give me your mm, products. Okay. Or the ingredients. We... Sorry. <laughs> or the ingredients. Tell you. Ingredients. Yeah. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. We need some tortillas. Uh -huh. Oh, teacher, una pregunta. Hoy se fue. Sigue allí. I am here. Oh, ok. Eh, para dar referencia a las tortillitas que se usan para hacer tacos, ¿cómo puedo decir? Yes, yeah, they are tortillas. Tortillas, así. Ok. Thank you. We need some tortillas and some potatoes. Okay. We need some tomatoes. Here, um, it, yeah. some. Mm -hmm. some tomatoes. Um, One question. Uh, tacos. Uh, of meat or chicken <laughs> or, uh, or, meat. Or, meat. Or, meat. or pork <laughs> no, meat <laughs> okay. Fatima uh, is also no. here Fatima Jocelyn Hola. Oh. oh sorry <laughs> no, hello, hello Fatima <laughs> hola hello, Dale, Fatima. yo vi que unos querían pupusas y otros tacos <laughs> you are hungry now. <laughs> okay. Ah, no, pero son ingredientes, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y no lo, no, lo, no lo practicamos, ¿verdad? Hagamos una práctica. Uh -huh. Let's make some pupusas. Uh, what do you need to do? Um, Bueno. Primero es de hacer la conversación, responder las preguntas y luego practicarlo. Ajá. Entonces. Ahora te estamos en ingredientes aún. <risa> Después sí. hacemos la pregunta. No, pasado todavía. What do you need? Ah, bueno, sí, esa es la segunda, sí. ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Qué, ¿Qué necesitamos comprar? Es esto, ¿verdad? Yes, I, yes, I need to buy some. 
Podría ser. Mm -hmm. I need to add some and more ingredientes. Um, tomatoes. For the south, south. And I have this. Uh, el pan pero en inglés Ajá, vamos a quitar el pan en ah, el, ¿qué es? no porque es, la, es lo de es el que, el, lo, lo que se va a comprar y luego dice según el, el slide de la actividad dice do you need any lettuce for the sandwich ajá sandwich Hacer no sé si dejar la pregunta la pregunta de la de la actividad o la pregunta que está en el segundo en el segundo slide let's make some what do you need to buy we don't ah, podemos dejarla como la anterior por la estructura ajá first you need to decide what you are going to make what food are you going to sandwich. make sandwich for example but you can change because the example is sandwich you can make a hamburger hamburger or tacos you decide tacos is a good idea some delicious I love tacos. I'm a tacos lover. <laughs> okay. Okay, we changed the uh, to tacos. Okay, remember you can make it simple, like the second slide I sent. Hey people, let's make some tacos. Yes, it's a good idea. What do we need to buy? Um, you can say I have some tomatoes, but I don't have tortillas. Okay, we need to buy some tortillas. What about some okay uh, some meat or chicken? Yes, I don't we don't have any chicken. We need to buy some, for example. Uh, okay. It's a conversation. It's a conversation. And tomorrow you are going to present the conversation in the class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I will leave you alone so that you can get ready. Okay. You can work on that. Oh, oh, sir, I love, I love omelette. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's buy some. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you have the conversation okay. ready? Are Hello? you ready? Ready? The conversation is ready. Yeah. Very good. So you are ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow you are going to present the conversation in front of the class. Okay, be ready for that. Okay. Okay. I'm checking the other group. Quizás será lo mismo que tenemos que poner dos veces. No, pero creo que es lo mismo. Arriba solo lo que tenemos y abajo lo que nos hace falta. O, o es poner todo lo que necesitamos. Hay quizás volverlo a escribir. Junto todo. Entonces sería we need eh, la lista. Sí, todo. Vamos, 
Vamos mais de Tarapoia, né? Cabeja. Por cabeça, 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 Yes, okay, try to finish because in one minute we are going to come back, we're going to continue with the class, okay? Yes, yeah. 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 it's a conversation teacher. Oh, the conversation is ready, excellent. You can practice uh, in one minute, we are going to continue with the class. Okay, so you can practice in this minute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mañana la vamos a enseñar o la vamos a, a decir? Tomorrow you are going to present it in the class. Así, así como estamos ahorita, la vamos a, la vamos a leer el, y yo. Yeah, if, if it's possible, memorize your card. Memorize. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Más mal que una pizza vamos a hacer. Ok, you're going to make pizza. Yes. Make pizza. Ok. Ah, vale. Entonces, más mañana o ahora. It's tomorrow, but you can practice in this 40 seconds. I would like ah. No, ya, ya vamos de regreso ahí mañana. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. How was the practice? How was the activity? Did you finish the conversation? Yes, teacher. Very good, Daniel and Brenda. And the others, did you finish your conversation? So, so. So, so. Okay, you still have one day. You still have 23 hours to complete it <laughs> and practice. Okay, tomorrow, all the conversations will be presented here in the class. Okay, with light, camera, action. Okay. <laughs> So right now we're going to continue with the next topic. This topic is frequency adverse or adverse of frequency. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but I hope you can. Well, adverse of frequency are words that we use to express the frequency in which we do some activities. The frequency which we make or we do some activities. Okay, these adverbs, you can repeat after me. The adverbs are always. Always. Usually. Usually. Often. Usually. Often. 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 often, often you don't pronounce often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. 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 Yeah, the Never. structure is like this. We use first the subject, then the adverb of frequency, then the verb, and the complement. For example, she never makes her bed. It's a bad verb. Never, zero percent, right? Never. Never. Nunca. Nunca. Her bed. Never, nunca. Family, always, always, every day. Siempre. My family always has dinner together. Exactly, Yareli. Yes, my family always has dinner together. It's 100%. I sometimes, I sometimes. De vez en cuando. Okay, it's Always like 50%, right? 50%, sometimes. 
And to make questions, it could be like this. Do you I'm ever have you. a sleeping teacher? I'm a sleepy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you. Remember that we work during the day too, right? We do different activities. <laughs> In the evening, we are tired. But we have you have to study and you have to continue working. Okay, so do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yeah. Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, no I, I never, never do. Right? I never do. I never have fish for breakfast. Okay, so remember the structure, subject, adverb frequency, verb, and complement. Complement. We can see more examples over here, and we have more frequency adverbs here. We have always, usually, with 90%, 80% normally, or generally, 70% often or frequently, Oh, percent sometimes, sometimes 30% occasionally, 10% okay. seldom, 5% rarely, rarely, and 0% never, mm. never. And well, as you say, as you can see here, an Albert of frequency tell us, tells us how often something takes place. And we have a lot of examples. I need um, somebody who can help me read the examples. I always... What up? Yes, Carla? I read. The always, yes. I always wake uh, wake up at six o'clock. Thank you. Briseida, continue, please. Me? Briseida y Arisa. Okay. I usually come home after work. Okay. Heriberto? Okay. Uh, I normally swing after school. Thank you. Jeannie? I often spend Christmas with friends. Thank you. Christian, sometimes. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Okay. Gerardo, occasionally. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Daniel Quijano. I, I sell the... I seldom go to the library. Go to the library, okay. Library. Edith Carolina? I rarely. Uh, I rarely listen to the radio. And the last, Amalia? I never listen to rock music, okay. So you can see, subject, adverb frequency, oh, and verb. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the next slide, you can see other expressions of frequency. We have, these are called adverbs, but we also have expressions of frequency. What is the difference? Well, the adverbs of frequency goes between the subject and the verb, but the expressions of frequency go at the end of the sentence at the end of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence. And what are the expressions of frequency? Every day, every week, every, week. every month, every yeah. year, once yes. a week, twice a week, three times a month, four times a year, three times a day, okay? And the question is, how often, for example, how often do you take a shower? I take a shower twice a day because it's so hot, right? Okay, how often does your husband do exercise? My husband does exercise 
three times a week. So as you notice, the expression of frequency goes at the end of the sentence, twice a day, three times a week. You can also say, for example, once a month, I visit the doctor. I go to the beach uh, three times a year. I have English class four times a week or four days a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see the difference between expressions of frequency and adverse of frequency? What is the difference? What's the difference? Okay, let's see, Daniela Laya, Ayala. <laughs> Look, the expression. Que, que, son, que se hace frecuentemente en los días más seguidos y el otro como más largo tiempo, un tiempo más. Como que se demora más. No, no the, the only difference is the position. Ah, the I position take a shower is... today. Which day? Mm. Dos veces al día. The position the of the of frequency, the position is the in the end yes, of the sentences. Exactly, at the end of the sentence. Thank you. No sé quién lo dijo, but thanks. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh, Jeannie. Thank you, Jeannie. It's because I don't see your mouth because of your name. Sometimes I don't see when you're speaking. Okay, so I think you shower twice a day. Uh, Alberto frequency, como les decía in the previous slide, miren la posición. Subject, Alberto frequency, and verb. Subject, Alberto frequency, and verb. Expressions of frequency at the end of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence. Twice a day, I take a shower. I take a shower twice a day. My husband does exercise three times a week. Three times a week, my husband does exercise. So it's just the position in the sentence. Now here, we have, I have some questions and you can tell me what is the answer. Fatima Portillo, how often do you eat pupusas? My example is, I always eat pupusas on weekends, like Donald Trump. No, you're kidding. <laughs> how often do you eat pupusas? I always eat pupusas on weekends. What about you? Fatima Yoselin. You can say, I never eat pupusas, teacher. I don't like pupusas. Or I sometimes eat pupusas in the morning for breakfast. But please give me an answer. I always eat pupusas on weekend, a specific the Saturday in the morning, in the evening. On Saturday morning and Saturday Two evening. or three pupusas, very delicious. I love pupusas. <laughs> yes, yes. I love pupusas too, Carlos, thank you. Okay, um, Heriberto, how often do you drink coffee? Uh, Always drink coffee in uh, every day in the morning and evening. In evening, uh, in the morning for breakfast and after breakfast, and in the in the evening um, after uh, dinner. 
Wow, Heriberto. Yes. You drink coffee twice a day. Twice a day. Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Amalia. How often do you uh, go to the beach? Oh, I'm not. Ah, oh, you can say, I never go to the beach. I never, I never. I go, never. I never go. Go to the, to the beach. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank you, Amalia, for your honesty. <laughs> no, 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 never, never. You never go. You don't like it? Do no. you like you don't like it? No, not. Okay, thank not you. Like. No yeah. salvadoreña. <laughs> okay. Maybe she prefers other activities. Okay, what about you, Areli? I always propose on weekends. Okay, uh, I have another the, question. Any. <laughs> Arely, how often do you go to the park? No. How often do you go to the park? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> ah, I never. I never. I never, no. I never go to the park. I never not in the parks. I never go. No. When you say never, it's like you say no, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So I never go I, to the park. I never know. I never go. I never go. I never go to the park. Go okay. to the park. Yeah. <laughs> Claudia Cruz, how often do you go to the supermarket? Okay. Yes, Claudia, how often do you go to the supermarket? Mm, I always, um, on the weekend. I go to the supermarket once a week, twice a week, or you can say, I sometimes go to the supermarket. I usually go to the supermarket, as Erika said. Uh, week. Mm -hmm. you, you, you always go on the weekend. Okay, people, right now we have a couple of minutes. And I want you to write three questions with the answers. Three questions and answers in the chat. Okay, three questions and answers in the chat, like this. How often do you eat pupusas? I always eat pupusas on weekend. How often do you drink water? Mm, I usually drink water uh, during the day, that could be an example. Or how often do you visit your mother? I visit my mother twice a month, or I sometimes visit my mother, okay? Or I never visit my mother, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to send you some slides Okay, the people who connected late, can you give me your names, please?
for example, Anderson Emanuel Portillo. Not present. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Eduardo Enrique. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. present. Are you present, Jacqueline? No le escuché muy bien. Jacqueline Beatriz, are you in the class? Ahí está Eduardo diciendo que no tiene audio, teacher. Oh, thank you. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez dice que no tiene audio, que está presente, pero no le sirve la bocina. Thank you, thank you, Arely. Ok, thanks. Jacqueline también. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil. Vigil, yes. <laughs> yeah, now I can see it. They say thank you to you. Okay, we have the questions here. Um, how often do you drink coffee? I drink coffee twice a day. How often do you go to the theater? I never go to the theater. How often do you go to the church? I go to church once a week. How often do you visit your mother? I always visit my mother. That's perfect. Congratulations. How often do you drink soda? I drink soda. I occasionally drink soda. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time to finish the class. But if you you can continue making the questions and answers, if you couldn't send it in the what in the chat Zoom, you can send it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, send it in the in WhatsApp group. And remember, tomorrow you present the conversation in the class. Okay, it was good to see you. I hope you have an excellent evening, okay. excellent night. Good night, people. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.